everyone, Eid Mubarak in Istanbul. In the end of the month of Ramadan, we are celebrating the Eid. Three days, one of the major holiday in Islam. And you are welcome to witness how I spent three days in Eid in Istanbul. Let's begin. my tea perfect time any time of the day but in picnics you must have tea every year in two major holidays we celebrate the first day we go to our mother-in-law's house for breakfast this year she wanted from me pocha which is a savory cheese filled bakery product when I do something I always want them to be fresh so I did it early in the morning before we went to the breakfast in the first day of eat I used 125 grams of butter half cup vegetable oil two eggs keeping one yolk for egg wash three full tablespoons plain yogurt and one tablespoon grape vinegar after mixing the wet ingredients, I added 4 heaped tablespoon cornmeal, 1.5 teaspoon salt, 2 teaspoon sugar, 1 teaspoon baking powder and half a teaspoon baking soda. First added 3 cups of flour and mix everything. Added more flour about half cup along with some chopped dill. and knead until I get a nice soft dough that is not sticking and shape easily. For the filling I used some aged Turkish white cheese that I crumbled at about a teaspoon and shape as you can see placing the sealed side down. I got almost two trays of pocha egg washed with the yolk and when you get the tops with some fork you get this nice pattern after it is baked. I baked the pochas in preheated 200 Celsius degree oven until they are golden and baked well for about 25 minutes. Then we went to Fatih which is about 20 km far from our apartment. Since it was early in the morning, the first day of Eid, everybody was at home almost, so it took only about 15 minutes drive to reach to Fatih. There we had a surprise dish. My sister and dao made kuymak. I have the recipe on the channel already. Because of the cheese she used, the stretchiness of the kuymak were up to the ceiling almost. <laughs> Holidays is to visit the cemetery. We took my mother-in-law to the cemetery with my daughter and her niece. It is about two minutes drive. 
very close to my mother-in-law's apartment but she cannot walk so we take her with our car but back home it was already getting busy noon time and we had the Friday prayer everyone is going out and it was so crazy busy that we even couldn't find any park to park our car <laughs> We are back in Fatih, couldn't find a park for our car, so I'm just waiting for my husband. He went to for the Friday prayer. So it was already the Friday noon prayer at the same time. My husband had to leave and I had to wait in the car. And for that reason, it took about two hours to go back to my mother-in-law's house. And then I wasn't able to continue to record anything, but our relatives came to visit my mother-in-law. That's what we do always. We had tea time together, the pochas, the börek, sarma, either cake or baklava. And the worst part is my friends, we waited until midnight, so we're not gonna be on the traffic still. And it took about one and a half hours to reach back home because of the traffic. And I didn't film because I was so tired, I forgot. I wish I did uh, show you. <laughs> Normally my friends, the second day what we do is to visit my mom and dad but as you know, if you following me for a time, they moved to Kastamonu city so we decided to go to an eat picnic that was held by students from different nationalities study in Istanbul To the picnic you bring whatever you decide It's a potluck We bring carrot salad with yogurt dressing we sauteed shredded carrots. I had bought red and orange colored carrots. Added sliced garlic and chopped dill. Seasoned it with some salt. After cooled down, added yogurt and mayonnaise. Mixed everything. Placed it to my container. And made simple pepper sauce by mixing red pepper flakes with olive oil and finally added chopped walnuts and i was eager to try what they're gonna bring especially since they are from different nationalities the picnic was on the floria region of istanbul where is a seaside with a beautiful forest nearby so we went there It's beautiful here. Perfect time, perfect weather for picnic. Yes, I was able to try some pasta dishes and uh, mostly some sweets. Then one of my followers found me and we had a nice talk. It was actually relaxing. I was so much easier because I made something I don't know if it's remaining. The left we go have a check. It's called the Shahi Tukra. 
you can either bake it or you can add a fry. Mm -hmm. I baked it because frying is too oily. Make a sugar syrup with that. Also cook milk mm -hmm. and condense it. Because that it becomes thick. So you fry and you bake this. Layer it with uh, the sugar syrup. <laughs> Yeah, I can taste the cardamom. Cardamom yeah. and cloves. Yeah, it is like not too heavy. Yeah, not too nice. Uh, nice. Uh, by the way, I am a chef. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, right now I'm studying uh, transportation management. Mm -hmm. I did my undergrad in uh, gastronomy. In where? In India. In India. Cuisine is so much that mm -hmm. it takes time to just learn the Indian food. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. it's, it was an honor to meet yeah. you over here. Yeah. Yeah. We finished, I tried like different things and met with one of my followers, tasted his dish, it was nice and now they gonna make a gift exchange. I forgot to bring some gift, in last minute decided to came, we are happy that we did, but we'll see. <laughs> Hiba Ali. Hiba Ali. So I'm at my third grade. So we left, it was nice, they are still having fun, but we're gonna go to the seaside now with my daughter. My friends, during the Eid or special holidays, the Istanbul uh, can get really crowded. I want to note here, since the holiday was very short, only what, for three days, everyone was in Istanbul and people wanted to go to the different sites to visit. But it was really, really crowded, the, both the traffic and the public transportations. So keep that in mind when you decide to come to Istanbul and try not to come at those uh, holidays and the third day back home we had some quality time since during the ramadan we were not able to drink that much coffee which is our daily routine kind of rather than having a lunch we have coffee time in the afternoon so we did that in the third day we went to the kitchen with my daughter to bake one of her favorite cakes Fudgy wet cacao cake with uh, chocolate sauce. The cake base is very simple. Has eggs, sugar, milk, vegetable oil, cacao powder and flour of course. I'm adding the full recipe link in the description box below. My daughter Zeynep mixed the dry ingredients with spatula. Spread it evenly to a medium sized baking dish and baked. And also we loved the poacher so much, I did it for us too. The only difference I made was I put the crumbled cheese right into the dough and shaped like this. The beauty of this Turkish ıslak cake, which literally means the wet cake, is this fudgy chocolate sauce. After our coffee time, it was so beautiful outside, late in the afternoon, 
he decided to go to our lake park near our house. It's the third day of Eid. We are in Bahçeşehir Gölet Park, just walking around and uh, watching people's excitement. So my friends, that's how I spent the three days on Eid. Right now we are having a beautiful springtime in Istanbul. Flowers are blooming, the weather is getting warmer, but still a bit breezy. I have plans on visiting different parts of Istanbul as well as the historical peninsula to show you how it is right now. Tulip festivals, the parks, along the Bosphorus we have Erguvan, purple colored trees that are blooming right now and they make a beautiful contrast with the Bosphorus. If you are planning to visit Istanbul, I would recommend you to watch my Istanbul trips for many tips. You can also contact me for more if you want to explore the Istanbul with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm eager to hear how do you spend your holidays? What do you do? What's your traditions? We can continue to talk in the comment section. Bye.